Where are you? Mikey, God damn it! I'm not done talking with you yet. Well, that's too freaking bad, because I'm done listening. You don't know what this chance means for me. There's a reason they call them starving artists, kid. It's because they never make any real money. You can't feed yourself on a foolish dream. You know, I don't get you, Pop. You're always preaching to me how I should get a job doing something I'm good at. Mikey, if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. <sighs> but here I am. I finally find something that I'm passionate about, something that I might actually have a real talent for, and you tell me that I'm being foolish and that I have to stop? Acting's not a real job, Mikey. This whole audition thing you're talking about. Can't you see it's just one of your stupid, childish fantasies? Stupid? I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. But you gotta get your head out of the clouds, kiddo. You gotta find yourself a real career. One that's gonna give you peace of mind and security. Just like I had to. And all that bullshit about loving your job? Yeah, well, that's just a foolish fantasy, too. Listen, meet me halfway here. Go out and find a career that you can make some real money in. And then, if you still want to, you can play at this whole acting thing. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe this whole... This... This, this is just a stupid, foolish fantasy. I mean, I haven't made any money yet. But I'm telling you, Pop, I'm out there. And I'm doing all the things I can do to get work, and it's working. I'm making connections, and this role... This could be my big break. Damn it, Mikey, you're not listening. There's no such thing as a big break. There's just hard work and responsibilities and sacrifice. I'm sorry, kiddo, but you can't keep mooching off your mom and me. It's time to put away the makeup and all the silly costumes. You know, it's not too late for you to come work with your old man. <laughs> on septic tanks? Those septic tanks put food in your mouth and put a roof over our heads. I didn't mean... I'm sorry. You know, all my life, you've always had my back. You remember when I wanted to be a ball player? Even though I sucked, you went right out and you got me a brand new glove. And you came to every single game. And then... When I wanted to become a mechanic, BAM! My own toolbox. But now, now I'm here and I'm telling you, Pop, I want, I need to be an actor. I'm really good at this, Pop. Set your alarm for 4.30. You're working with me tomorrow. You know, just because you never did anything you were passionate about doesn't give you the right to ruin my dreams. 4.30. I've tried seven states and couldn't raise it. A buck an hour. Do you gather my meaning? I'm not bringing home any prizes anymore and you're gonna stop waiting for me to bring them home. Pop, I'm nothing. I'm not... I'm... I'm nothing, Pop. Can't you understand that? There's no spite in it anymore. I am what I am, and that's... Mikey? Honey? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Ma. It's fine. Uh, I was just practicing. Oh, oh my. It sounded so real. I thought maybe you and your father were having another go at it. Mm, no. I, I don't think Pop and I are going to be talking about much of anything for a while. He loves you, you know. I know. It's just... I wish you could see how much this means to me. He does, sweetie. He's just scared for you. He doesn't want to see you get hurt, that's all. I understand that, I do, but it's just... Mom, I'm really good at this. Sometimes in life, it doesn't matter how good you are, honey. Sometimes we don't always get what we want. <laughs> well, I'm willing to take that risk. Oh, are you... Yes. Really? Yes. 
What if you fail? Then I try again. And if you fail again? Then I try again. Look, Mom, I'm not saying I'm gonna win an Oscar or an Emmy or nothing, but I am saying that I do think I'm good enough at this that I can make a decent living. Well, what about when you get married? Will you still make enough then? Married? Who said anything about getting married? And when your first baby comes along? Baby? Will your decent living still be able to afford that? Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that... How many times are you going to try again when you've got a family to worry about? Dad? Are, are you saying that he... He has the voice of an angel. You didn't know that about him, did you? But he doesn't sing anymore. It, it hurts him too much. Sometimes when he doesn't know, I'll sit and watch him listen to his music pain on his face. You can just see his heart breaking over and over. And he was good, Mikey. He was really good, as good as you are with your acting. But I, life stole that dream away from him. Now, he sees that same fire in you and, and it brings him back. He just doesn't want you to hurt like that. So that's it. I should just quit then. Give up on my dreams to go vacuum shit out of septic tanks before I get hurt? Really? I, I'm just saying that maybe you should do What kind of life would that be? Knowing that I just gave it all up. That I, that I threw away my shot before I even ever tried. No! I'm sorry. I, I know you and Pop are just scared for me. I get that, really. But... I have to try this. I can't just give up my dream. Not yet. <sighs> Mikey, your mom and I... Mikey? Uh, oh, I, uh... I got the part. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. What? And this is how you're gonna tell us? Sneaking off in the middle of the night without so much as a goodbye? I'm sorry, it's just, I thought that- What? You thought what? That we would come in here and find a stupid note on your dresser telling us you were going off to chase your dreams? And then, then what? We're supposed to be proud of you? We're supposed to say, a boy, Mikey. Way to go. Is that what you thought? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Why in the world would because you think- Because I didn't want this! I didn't want to have to keep listening to you telling me how stupid of an idea this was again. I just didn't want to fight anymore. <sighs> Pop, when I was born, you made your choice. You could have just walked away and kept chasing your dream. But instead, you gave it all up to take care of mom and me. And I love you for that, but that's not me. I don't have others that are counting on me, not yet. So I have to do this and it has to be now. So that's it then? No more talking? Not unless you want to tell me you're proud of me. Good luck, son. Atta boy, Mikey. 